Istanbul, at least 10 people have been killed in nationwide protests in Iran, Iranian state television said Monday, even as President Hassan Rouhani appealed for calm and demonstrations broke out in several cities. State media said security forces repelled armed protesters who tried to take over police stations and military bases. Some videos circulating online have showed protesters in violent confrontations with police. A separate report said a police officer had been killed. President Trump tweeted about the protests again Monday, saying that Iran is failing at every level and that repressed Iranians are hungry for food and freedom. Along with human rights, the wealth of Iran is being looted, Trump tweeted. Time for change, Iranian leaders have balked at Trump's comments. Ruhai on Sunday said the US president had no right to sympathize with Iranians given his administration's hostile policies. The rising death toll in Iran comes as spontaneous demonstrations have swept across the country since Thursday, when economic protests swiftly turned political and took aim at the government and ruling clerics. Criticism of the Islamic Republic is taboo and public dissent often brutally suppressed. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. People were killed in at least three cities in provinces in the south and southwest, state television and Iranian lawmakers said. At least some had been shot and killed. But demonstrators, enraged and, it appears, leaderless, have continued to flout authorities in towns and cities, venting anger at police and state institutions. Protesters have chanted against Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and in some cases called for a return to the monarchy overthrown in 1979. The unrest is the boldest challenge to Iran's government since the 2009 uprising over disputed election results lasted for months on the streets of Tehran. Those demonstrations, which criticized what participants said were fraudulent presidential elections, were eventually crushed and the movement's leaders put under house arrest. Ruhai, the moderate, had pledged to free those leaders and expand Iran's political and social freedoms. On Sunday, the president agreed that protesters had legitimate demands, including calls for more transparency and an end to government corruption. But he urged them to refrain from violence and on Monday said that the nation would deal with rioters and lawbreakers. Still, Ruhai, who was re-elected to a second term in May, struck a somewhat conciliatory tone calling the protests an opportunity, not a threat. In a televised address Sunday, he encouraged state bodies to allow more space for criticism. It was